This is the famous creepy tide pool spot, and this is a 30 gallon aquarium. Let's find some exotic fish and sea creatures to stock this aquarium. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a long day ahead of us. I got the essentials, the keto trail mix and the kind bar, because guess what? We're going to Petco, we gotta get a big tank and we gotta drive to one of our favorite spots, the epic tide pool underneath the bridge. So we found some insane stuff there. We did the mini pond before a couple months ago, we did a giant mini pond at the place. We found a ton of different fish and now it's time to change it up and we're gonna do an actual tank. Let's see how big of a tank we're gonna get though. What if they have like a 300 gallon tank on sale? We're buying it and carrying it to the spot. So let's get in the car and get a nice big old tank for our favorite tide pool spot under the bridge. I think no. someone stepped in dog poop, guys. Not me. Jack. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, good. Jack all the way outside. <gasps> I love our new mic system. All right, let's go. Chris, you should probably move this bus up a little. Huh? What'd you say? You're probably like, I would say 40% in the spot. Really? And like 60% not. All right. You don't want to be that guy when you're parking. Yeah, I was barely in the spot. I was in the middle of the road, You were in the Jack. road. You were in the road. Well, so I'm, not, tank. I'm not now. That's good. I think this is, like I said, 30 gallon tank. We went for the biggest one they had, and this was the biggest one. It's 30 nice. gallon Marine Land, $20 off. It was meant to be, ladies and gents. It's a beautiful aquarium that we are going to turn into an absolute oh. ecosystem today from the bridge, from the tide pool. Jack. Luckily, Chris hits the gym right. because I don't. It's a nice aquarium, though, guys. But listen, you gotta have your buffalo shades on. I got my buffalo shades You can on. either be a sheep or a cow, or you can be a buffalo that runs right through the storm, ladies and gents. You don't know the saying, dude. A sheep will, will trot against it. A buffalo will run right through it. That's why we're buffaloes. Tank acquired, that's literally all we need. We have a net, we have a rod, we have a tank, and we have a great spot. Do we have a small net, guys? Buffalo shades uh, on. Uh, uh. I, I think we forgot our net, guys. No, we didn't. A scooper? I don't think we have a scooper. Okay, go inside and get one. Chris, what kind of aquarist are you? Do not keep one in the truck. I know. So now we need a net. I'll be right back. Let me go get it. Sneak peek. Ooh, that's all you get. This is a freaking, this is a fire design for our brand new shirt coming out. We want to make some awesome designs for you guys. We're still perfecting very early stages, but just, just know this is gorgeous. Should I show them again? Oh, who's that? Who's that? Here comes the Aquarius. Pleasure's mine. Now to the spot. Let's go. You want to have something insanely relatable? Jack ruined the tank. It's trying to peel off price tags on something that you're trying to keep clean. For example, a beautiful viewing panel on a fish tank. The goo. This tank Eventually, is dirty. Eventually by 2028, I think they'll figure out how to make non glueless or glueless I agree. price tags. I think we chose the wrong guy to carry the tank. Yeah, come on. This is the only workout you get, dude. I know. Look at how many puffers. There's, I don't even know, I can't even explain to you how many puffer fish there are. Zoom in on them. One, two, three, four. And if you look up along the bank. If we think we're gonna catch something in this net, we have a big problem. It's the puffer run, puffer migration. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look at all them spooking. Look at, look at. There's, there's that. so many puffer fish. There's look at so how many, many over here. Look at how many, there's oh freaking 50. Jet, you can get those, dude. There's, there's so many over there. Look at them all going, bro. We're not gonna catch anything in this. This might crack the tank, no kidding. That's where our tank's gonna be. It's a creepy tide pool tank, dude. It's gonna be epic. Now listen guys, the dynamic, you guys know the dynamic. We have jobs. I'm the muscle, I do the heavy lifting and the, and the you know, filling up the ponds and the tanks, Jack catches the fish. That's the way we usually do it. So now I'm stuck filling up this tank. It's only like 30 gallons, so we're fine. How are we gonna empty this tank? This is gonna be sick, guys. I'm actually pumped. There we go. That looks nice, Chris. Jack, catch us some fish. Look around here. I didn't check rectangles, but screw it. That's smokage. I think a lot of them got out, but we definitely have at least a couple. They're smart, because they'll swim underneath the weights. Did we even get any? There's one. Chris, take them. First fish of the day, starting it up Gary's way. It's a baby puffer. Look how cute that thing is. I want to load this tank with it. I literally want, oh, he's getting away. He's getting away, Jack. Down the river. I just got him with my hand. First fish. We need about 50 more of those, Jack, not gonna lie. I've got three over here. Three more. Good job, Jack. Dude, if we actually had a net that wouldn't let fish escape, I kid you not, we would have had 40 there. Look at those. Bada bing. 
Four puffer fish, one throw. Dude, I told you, the puffer run is real. I didn't, I didn't see that many inside of I wasn't playing you guys when I told you that the puffer run is real. Look at that, it's crazy. There we go. Couple floaters, little defense, right down the bottom. Look at them all schooled up in the corner. Holy crap, look at all of them over there. 2023 puffer run. I don't know if there was just a huge breeding time and all these guys just hatch or just were given birth to, but look at how many there are. It was two throws of the net and we have, I'd say, damn near 20 puffer fish. It's crazy. It's super cool having that many though. Looks yeah, no, cool I didn't there, I didn't know the puffer run was real. This is a, a real thing. Someone's getting it Declared on. Declared by the fish way guys, too much. the puffer run. Yeah, seriously. We might need to start, you know, laying some laws here with puffers. Yeah, because they're reckless. They're just having kids, just popping them out. I mean, I love it. This is a cool tank already. Our first fish of the day, we did not expect to be 100 puffer fish. I will take that. Let's see what else we can catch though. Now I did forget to put some decor. So we gotta add some sand. Watch out guys, don't get trapped under the sand. The puffers like sand actually, they live inside of it. So let's just add some sand in the tank. Let it settle guys, relax. Don't get so angry. Oh my God, that's perfect amount of sand. Look at that. That's a true aquarium, dude. Let's go. That looks way better than before. We got some sand. We got about 50 puffers in there. We need some more fish. We need some more crabs, Jack. Get on it ASAP, please. I already give this a, a nine out of 10. This is already, this might be cooler than the Tide Bowl Pond. Let us know down in the comments, what do you think is cooler? Building the aquarium out of our spots or building the pond? I think both are cool, but this is really, really cool. So let's see what else we can find around these parts. All right, Jack just caught like 90 more puffers. I think he just wants to make this a puffer tank. I mean, most of your guys' comments on all, all of our videos is catch more puffers. So we're getting about 500 baby puffers here. Jack just got bit by a puffer. <laughs> Dude, that's insane, bro. Look at all those puffer fish. That's insane. We have a puffer army, dude. That's crazy. Honestly, I'm good just with this tank. I think we did our job here. Puffer galore. Absolutely chilling up in there. Now my job right now is to look for those big hermit crabs that Jack was always finding here. So you just gotta look for the big shells that are moving around. I think we have one right here. Chilling in the shore. They're always right here. Is this one? Yeah, that's one. That's one, that's a, that's a big boy crab right there. Look at that thing. I think it's a crab. I think it's a hermit crab, but it kind of looks like a snail. It might be a conch. I'm not 100% sure, but look at that thing in there. Oh yeah, that's a conch. That's not a crab, that's a conch. Look at that foot right there he's got. So I, oh my God, what is on him? What is on me? Is that a parasite? There, is that a parasite? What is that? I don't know, get it off. Um, what is that guys? Is that a baby conch? What is that, dude? That just came out of this. I don't know what that is. I'm worried it's probably gonna bury into my skin and then that's it. That's it for Fish Guy Chris. Let's get this little worm thing that I found in there first. See that? Let's get the conch in there too now. You got that conch in our tank. Let's go, baby. Drop them down. Enjoy your puffers. All right, right now we have a conch and a million puffers. I'm about that. I'm about that life. I'm really enjoying this tank so far. It's time to add an epic fish to the aquarium. We got those cool little baby puffers inside there that are schooling like crazy and they're still up and down this whole entire beach. But let's try and find some sort of predator, whether it be a barracuda or a snapper. Lord knows, I mean, there's Sergeant Majors right there. We could find a needlefish. We're gonna keep our eyes peeled and see if we can find one lurking over here. Usually they hang out near the mangroves. Oh, right there, there was a little bit of motion. Let's see. Yeah, Dude, there might be stuff in that tunnel. Right there, the right, right there. there. I see him, I see him. There's three. There's three right here. Three needles? Oh, they're so quick. Oh, they're so fast, bro. Whoa, we got a cuda in the net. No we got way. a cuda. Two kudas in the net. Kudas? Two kudas in the net. Holy crap. We didn't even see him. Literally didn't even see him. Told you we're going after a predator. We don't play games out here. Look at that. Holy crap. They're probably gonna put a hole in my net, but we got two kudas. Unfortunately, these ones we're not gonna be able to actually put in our possession because it's illegal to catch barracuda inside of a cast net, but we can definitely take a look and adore them. Look at that. Two baby barracudas. Ow. Pretty dang epic. Two baby barracudas right there. That is crazy. Yeah, we were going out to the needlefish and we got these barracudas. Didn't even see them at all. And usually when we try and catch these guys, we can't find them at this size absolutely anywhere. Let's go ahead, let one of them go, and then we'll look at the other one. See you, buddy. Baby barracuda, this guy, I'd say is about 12 inches. They gotta be 15 inches to keep, right, Chris? I think so. I think 15 inches, so that'd've been cool if we could've kept him, but regardless, caught him in the cast net, gotta let him go. Super cool, though. 
fierce, vicious predator. Wow! See you, buddy. Dang, that's so crazy that the the needlefish eluded us, but the barracuda that's one of the fastest fish in the ocean could not escape the net. We got a couple. That's because we're the fish yeah. guys, dude, and we're buffalo. Literally. We're not cow. We're buffalo. We got the buffalo shades. We run towards the storm, not away from it. Bro, like I was saying, I mean, we can find one of those big blue crabs in those in that tunnel back there. We don't have a net though. I will not be grabbing that with my bare hands or unless you want me to be have no no hand anymore. Guys, we caught a baby snook. That is the smallest snook I've ever caught in my life. He was just literally sitting there on the bank. I didn't even see him. That is crazy. Let's go ahead, put him in the mangroves, get him back safe and sound. I don't want to put him out in the open. Come on. Holy crap, that's so dope. I've never, ever, ever seen or caught a baby snook ever in my life. That's so sick. Get up in there. There he goes. He's alive. That's crazy. Damn, he was Baby out. snook. That's He's literally right there. Thank God. I literally see him. He's right there. That's Dude. freaking dope. I never caught that before. That's actually <laughs> sick. I've never seen a baby snook like that. Neither have I. I've literally never seen that. I know that. you can keep them in your tanks, like not in Florida. Like you can buy baby snook and keep them in your tank if you're not in Florida. That's like my dream pet fish to have, but you cannot do that here in Florida or else you want to go like this. You don't want to do that. Come here, buddy. Where are you going? See that's Home Depot uh, shopping bag. That snook could have swam into that thing and that's it. No bueno. You guys can take some out too by going to Fish Got Out Shop, supporting us, supporting our brand. Not only does the brand support us, it also supports trash cleanup because every item sold removes trash from the ocean. Let's get this bag out of the water. No trash. No graffiti though, so you know. No, that's acceptable. They actually painted this. They, they, there was, this was so yeah, much Yeah, no, graffiti. the guy comes like every month to paint it because everybody comes under here. First of all, leaves an absolute mess, and then they leave the most disgusting, horrific graffiti you've ever would you would ever see in your life. Like no trash in stuff the stuff that makes bed. you want to leave the area as fast as possible. Guys, this is why it is super important to keep a sharp eye out. Look at what we found cruising the wall of the tide pool right here. This is a starfish, and we haven't found one quite like this in a very long time, if ever. We found like super big ones, but this starfish right here is absolutely crazy. I think it's a type of serpent star. Really long, flowy, kind of like a hybrid between like a sea urchin and a starfish because they're really prickly, but they got long, flowy arms. These guys are really cool. This is like probably the coolest find of the day right here. He was blended right into that barnacle, dude. Yeah, literally blending right in. That's sick. There you go, buddy. Dude, that's dope. I love that our tank, is... guys. Freaking epic. I'll tell you what, fish guys can build a tank. That, imagine we could put the barracudas in there. This tank would be complete. We got schooling fish, invertebrates, we would have predator. It was epic. Before we move on, wait, what is this? What is this? Snail. Caught a snail. This is a sharp ass rock brook. I'm not even gonna go near that one, dude. Did catch a snail though. I don't think he's gonna come out, so let's just drop him in. We'll see what happens when we leave him there. Let's check out these pilings. Now, guys, checking out the piling here. As you can see, there's a sea urchin right by these rocks here. Right there. Right by those rocks. Oh, I just don't want to get my shoes wet, dude. Oh, got him. This guy's cool. Look at this find. That's dope. It's just like a green and white sea urchin. It's pretty dope. We find these guys all over like the lake when we go take the boat out by Lake Boca and stuff. These guys are everywhere. Sand dollars everywhere over there as well. Super cool. Definitely a cool addition to the tank. Let's go uh, see how he looks in there. Check this guy out. Put him right down here. Woo! Let's go! Dude, this tank, I'm sorry. I'm totally content with it already. Puffers and a couple invertebrates looks absolutely sick so far. Jack, this thing might get crushed, bro. Jack, that tank's gonna get crushed, dude. Jack, that tank's gonna get crushed. Please, God Almighty. Please, God. It's not gonna get crushed. It's not gonna get crushed. I would feel like such an ass, dude. The first time I ever came here and that happened, I was freaking out. I was like moving all my stuff. I'm like, oh. I don't even know where I put the GoPro. Does anyone have it? All right, let's see how many puffer fish we can get at one time. Come on. Come on, guys. Okay, this is actually gonna be a lot harder than we thought. Two puffer fish. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to catch them all, dude. Look at that, there's so, we caught so many pufferfish today. This was insane, the pufferfish run is real. Let's go ahead and let these guys go. Let them swim on their way. All right, this guy's actually pretty dang big. I think he's the biggest one we caught. Let's go ahead and let everybody else go. See you guys. 
Y'all have a good day. Flip over. Come on, run. Let's release all of our invertebrates. I'm just gonna put them all by the piling where the starfish was. They all seem to be buddies now, so let's just drop them down here, let them crawl off. What? Don't worry, guys. I'll start draining the tank. Literally, that's how we got through it. We didn't think this through. No, we did not. The bucket won't fit inside there. We have two brain cells, probably. One each combined. One each. It's makes one whole cell and one whole cell makes two. So or is it a half and a half makes one? That's actually smart. See, so guys, Chris actually, before the whole YouTube thing, he was actually in med school. Uh huh. And. He was taking organic chemistry yep. and all that stuff, grinding his ass off. Until I went from he met med fish. school to a fish guy. Yeah, that's called pure dedication. That's why, see me, I would have been like this, cupping the water like that. This is a lot, lot better. That's why I'm, you know, part it's of called inertia. College. Inertia. Kinetic energy. Know. Kinetic energy. We're just getting soaked over here, guys. Don't worry about me. Nice. That's all of them. We put them all in the tide pool. Oh. Nice work, Chris. They'll be out of there in no time. In a couple hours, when the tide rises, they will be set free. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. We had a great day. Hope you guys enjoyed this style of video, making them a little bit longer like you guys asked. I had a great time filming. Jack had a great time. Definitely a newer video with the tank. Let us know what you guys like better, the pond or the tank, and we'll keep making these videos for you guys just like you enjoy them. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.